Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, February 26th, 2021. Happy Friday to everybody. We are rounding out a great month of February, but we are sure heading into a lot of fun that we're about to have as we enter the last trimester of school and we jump into the beginning of March on Monday. To start off March, we are going to kick off PARP, which is Pick a Reading Partner Month. I can't wait. We have lots of reading activities to do. We have some author visits that are coming and lots of fun reading goals and activities that we can do for this great month to celebrate the love of reading. Don't forget that March 3rd, which is Wednesday, is 100 days of virtual school. I hope that you celebrate in one way or another with your class or your family. Friday, March 5th, which is one week from today, will be hat day to honor Dr. Seuss's birthday. His birthday is actually on Tuesday. Don't forget to listen to our announcements every day because we'll be having lots of upcoming events and I definitely want you to know what they are. Be sure that you are very kind, do your best and learn something new today. Please don't forget your joke of the, do it, the day. What do you call a pig that does karate? Just click that heart, it will fade away and you can see the answer. Don't forget to look at our shout outs today. We have two perfect ones to round out the month of March. Oh, February, I'm already ahead of myself, the month of February. I have two poems today to read to you. They are both from our book, which is Everything On It by Shel Silverstein. The first one is called Asleep and the second one is called Walmarks. This first one's called Asleep. My lazy foot just fell asleep when I sat down to sup. I yelled and screamed, but on it dreamed. Well, this should wake it up. Nope, don't do that. Have you ever had your foot fall asleep? That happens to me all the time. I have a foot fall asleep or my hand fall asleep. And sometimes it kind of hurts when it's tingling and starting to get that circulation back. Definitely don't hit it with a hammer. That won't help at all. Okay, the next one's called Walmarks. Those scratchy marks there on the wall, they show how short I used to be. They rise until they get this tall and mama keeps reminding me the way my dad would take his pen and as I stood there stiff and straight, he'd put a ruler on my head and mark the spot and write the date. She says that it's my history, but I don't understand at all just why she cries each time she sees those scratchy marks on the wall. Now there's no poem, there's no picture with that one. But I wonder why, do you think sometimes moms feel a little sad as you're getting older? I know sometimes I felt sad when my kids were getting a little older, but now they're grown ups and they're way bigger than me. Everybody have a great Friday. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Try and get outside and get some exercise, unplug, get away from those computers and, and really get some fresh air this weekend. I will see everybody back here on Monday, March 1st.